Hi, my name is Sandra Hofmeier. I'm a violinist here in Johannesburg, and I'd like to discuss the issue of sound production with you just in a few seconds or minutes. Um, for me, that's one of the most important aspects of violin playing, because the sound is that thing that you hear. Uh, so for me, uh, my teacher taught me these three basic exercises that uh, became part of my daily warm-up for the past how many decades already and I find it's a wonderful way of just making your right hand aware of all the different things that we can do to influence our sound. So let's quickly uh, discuss this, um, the three elements that really has an impact on your sound would be weight, the weight of your hand on the bow into the string then the speed with which you draw the bow, and then also the sounding point, which is the part here between the bridge and the fingerboard where you will place your bow. Of course, you can also add the amount of hair that you use, but I'm not going to talk about that now. So the first exercise is just to isolate the weight. And I do it like this. I will divide my bow in half and then give a lot of weight and then release it. And I will then do two, two times per bow, then three, four, six, eight, and 12. And it goes like this. Okay, you would have noticed that the pitch changes a little bit when I add the weight. So that's a normal thing that will happen when you do this. The, when I do the speed exercise, I try not to add any weight. So I use quite a light bow so as, so as to um, isolate the element of speed. So if you watch my right hand, you'll see how I move fast and then slow, fast and slow. And I'm trying to do this without a bump in the bow. I don't want the bow to um, make any scratches or noises. So that takes a bit of time, but sometimes you get it right from the start. And then the last one would be for the sounding point. And that one, uh, I would choose maybe two sounding points, one closer to the bridge and one away from it. Um, you can count the number of points. Most people prefer to talk about five different sounding points between the fingerboard and the bridge. And it goes like this. And there you go. Those are three exercises that you can easily do when you start practicing. Uh, it's also a good way to warm up. And then when you play your pieces, try to think about how you can change the sound, if, especially if you're not happy with your sound. Think of these elements and how maybe by changing the combination of the three, you can improve your sound. And I find even if you practice a passage thinking about each one of them separately, it can also uh, improve your sound production. 
Okay, happy practicing.